Welcome to the Chibitronics YouTube channel. Today we're going to make a card featuring our craft effects stickers, some copper tape, and we're going to use our stencil that comes along with our craft effects stickers today. So my card to begin is an A2 size card with an extra thick band in the middle to accommodate the thickness of the foam tape that we're going to use today. I started off by stamping the outer front panel with some memento ink, coloring it in using some Copic markers. And then on the inside, at the same time when I was stamping the outside, I stamped each and every image using a lighter ink. And in this case, I just used Desert Storm by Memento. And what that does is it allows me to position things exactly the same and perfectly on the inside. So for instance, if we want to light up this little moth's bum, there's that little moth and we know exactly where to put our light. So let's get started on our circuit. So today we're going to use our craft effects stickers and I just wanted to go over a really simple image as to how they are created and how you connect everything together. So each of these stickers, and there's four stickers that come in a pack, we have Twinkle, Heartbeat, Blink, and I've already used my Fade. So you have four different effects that you can apply to your card or project. So this is your effects sticker, and this is how the circuit is completed. So one corner, and each of them is indicated, is a positive, and it connects to the top of the triangle. And it also is a positive, so you're going to connect all your positives together. Simple as that. Let's get creating. Inside your craft effects packaging included are your four stickers and an awesome little stencil. And this is so very helpful when planning out your circuit. So the first thing that I'm going to decide is where I want to put my battery. And for me, I'm going to use the word light. And we're just going to kind of use the circular aspect here just to indicate where our battery goes. And this just gives me a, a guesstimate as to where it is. And we're just going to flip it over to complete that circle. So there is our battery. So now we can figure out what parts of my card that I want to light up. So I want to light up as many bums as I can. So even though these are beetles and moths, they don't light up, but that's okay. This is a card and it's made for somebody special and we're gonna make all these guys light up. So I'm gonna do all the bums. So I'm gonna take my template and I'm going to, let's rotate our card here. The template contains a smaller triangular piece and that indicates our light stickers just like this and that's the size of the stencil we want to use today I'm just going to trace and indicate where my lights all go let's map out all of the lights next we're going to map out where our effect sticker is going to go and I try and put it fairly close to the battery so this, this looks like a nice position right here. There we go. And I'm also going to mark the positive and negatives off on the aspects of the sticker, just so that it's very obvious as to what connects to what. Let's finish off our circuit by creating the lines in between the positives and the negatives. So for the ease of sight, I always use two different colors to indicate my circuit and that just helps you guys out when I do my photos. So I always use the long side of my stencil. This works great. So let's start off with doing all of our negatives. So we're going to start off by starting at our battery and the negative actually goes underneath the battery. There we go. We're using pink in this case. And we're going to connect it first to our sticker. La -da -da -da. So this corner of the sticker is negative. 
And then we're going to connect all of the negative aspects. And the lights for the negative aspect are all on the pointy end of the sticker. So you're just going to take that and connect all your negatives. Now that we've got all the negative aspects of our circuit, we're going to do the positives. So for this one, we need to think about in and out on our sticker here. So our positive is going to actually be on top of our battery. It's going to start there for a circuit. And so I indicate that just by a dotted line. It just makes it easier for myself knowing that it's going to be on top. So we're going to connect the bottom part of our effects sticker. And then we're going to come out the top. Now notice we're going to go to this sticker here first. Notice that my two lines actually intersect. That's okay. We're going to build a paper bridge and that paper bridge just allows you to put tape across it so that the circuit is not interrupted. So the paper acts as a barrier between the copper tape. So let's finish off our positive side of the circuit. So now that our positive side of the circuit is complete, we can go and set up our copper tape. So notice here, again, I've crossed the line. So we're just going to make a paper bridge. Super easy to do. Let's get started with the negative side of our circuit. So we have our wonderful adhesive copper tape and we're going to begin underneath the battery. And the reason why I always start with my negative aspect of my circuit is because it's underneath the battery and I don't have to build up that battery housing until this is complete and it's so much easier to start with the negative just because it's a flat surface and we don't have to worry about adding the circuit to the top of the battery quite yet. We want to put it underneath that battery first. A bone folder comes in great assist on this process. It makes it easy to position that tape and get a nice crisp turn. So what I'm doing is I lay the copper tape back on itself like this and I kind of bend it on the angle of wherever I kind of want to point it to come out. So see this is now running the same direction I want to come out. I'm going to use my bone folder to press it down and away I go around that bend. Let's finish this side off. Now that the negative side of our circuit is all complete, we need to think about those areas where we need that paper bridge. So I just use scraps of paper. It doesn't have to be pretty because this is all going to be buried inside your card. And as long as they're wide enough or wider than your copper tape, you're good. So you can place these in with a little bit of wet adhesive, dry adhesive, whatever kind of works for you and what are you, whatever you have at home. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of adhesive and just take those tiny pieces of paper. That's all there is to it. Super, super easy. And I'm just going to put them where I need them to cross over our negative circuit. And because paper is, isn't conductive, don't have to worry about interrupting that circuit. So now we can build up our battery housing and get it started because we need to have it started so that we can complete the copper aspect of our circuit there. So I use a five mil to complete the housing today, you're going to need your battery like such. And you're also going to need some kind of 3D medium. As long as it's as thick or thicker than your battery, you're good. Today I'm using a wonderful uh, foam adhesive. And I've just got it cut into strips for ease of use. And we're going to build a little teeny house for our battery. And I do that relatively simply just by... You can trace around your battery so you know 
the width of your battery or you can do it like myself and just slip that battery into that area and we're going to make a little teeny house for that fella and what you want to do is you want to encapsulate the battery like such Oop. and this is just to ensure that the battery isn't going to move off of your circuit and I'm actually going to use a thinner piece of foam tape out this side and that's just because I want to put a mechanism on the outer edge that can be pulled out for mailing purposes so normally you do not have to paper back this because you want it to be sticky but today because I want to be able to open my card to indicate where my circuit is and I want to be able to show it to people that I make line paper backed so we're going to put a thinner version of the foam there and that just encapsulates that battery so in order to complete the circuit, I need to touch the battery and come back out because I need my copper to run to this corner. So again, I, you can use a paper flap or you can use whatever you would like. I'm going to use a clear acetate just so that the circuit can be seen underneath. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to just eyeball the size of my housing here. And of course you can't see the acetate, but it's here, so shiny, shiny. And we're going to use it as a flap over top of that circuit. And this is going to allow us to complete that circuit by pressing down, okay? So I'm just gonna trim it a little bit more like this there we go so I'm going to use a little bit of sticky sticky adhesive here because I want the flap to stay on top and not to move so I'm just going to apply that to the top there we go. And before we go any farther, and this just makes it a lot easier, we're going to add the copper tape to this. And we're gonna start underneath because this needs to make contact with the battery to complete the circuit. So by pressing down on that spot on the front of the card, it's going to make contact. So I'm starting underneath on the underside and I'm going to wrap it right around that flap. And we're gonna stop the copper tape there because now we can adhere it down to the housing. Super, super simple and easy to make. And of course you can make this out of paper, whatever medium you wish. And to complete the circuit, you just press, simple as that. So now let's take our copper tape down the side of this 3D foam. This is where that bone folder comes in handy. And I'm just gonna take it flat down. I always press it against the foam and then we're gonna complete the circuit. Away we go. And our circuit is complete. Now I also took a pen and indicated where my lights were just in case I forgot where they go. And there is our effect sticker. So now it's time to add our stickers. For this one, I think what we'll do is we'll use a blink. And each of the stickers are labeled as to what effect they create. So now it's just a matter of pressing it down. Today we're gonna to be using white LED stickers and they're indicated with a W and we need seven. So you just peel back this protective layer. It just helps everything stay where it's supposed to. And it's as easy as peel 
and stick. So this project is great for your kids to make all kinds of circuits. And away we go. To ensure a great connection, I always give them a little bit of press with my bone folder. This allows them to make great contact with the tape. Now, another thing I want to point out is that I have a joint here. And whenever I break the tape, I always like to go in with kind of a circuit band-aid. And these conductive fabric tape pieces work perfectly to do this kind of job. And what I do is I just go over that joint and this just ensures that the contact between that broken tape and the tape line that's continuous has a great contact and you can do this at any joint. Now some people even put uh, copper tape over the top of the circuit stickers. You do not need to do this. The contact is made from the bottom of the sticker, so you don't have to do this. Always make sure that you test your circuit too. And because of our effect, she blinks. Let's turn off the lights. And there we go. Isn't that great? On to the next step. And to complete our card, all I did was add foam all the way around the outside of the card. And I made myself a little pull tab. And this is for mailing purposes so that I can put a barrier between the battery and that positive piece of the circuit and the participant or the person who receives it is just going to pull this out and the card is going to become active. So let's take a peek at our final creation. And there she goes. And the addition of that effects sticker just makes that all the more awesome. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and we'll see you again next time. Take care.